I am a proud member of a nation whose culture and mythology is ripe with elements that would fit perfectly in a video game. Yet the only AAA game development company that landed on the same slap of rock as I when it was finally squeezed out of its creator's think tank chose to make a space MMO. And the only thing in that space MMO that ties it to the land of its creation is the currency. The currency's abbreviation is ISK, the same as the Icelandic krona which is hardly even worth burning for warmth anymore as global warming has pretty much rendered it useless for that as well. But mine is not the only nation whose culture is not being represented by its own artists and creative directors. And those who do take a jab at it are usually in no way equipped to handle the subject matter. It is a very sad truth that most companies when deciding what kind of game to make first think about the mechanics they want to work with and then think about what kind of setting they want for their game. I'm pretty sure that the founders of Crytek set out to make the most stunning graphics engine they could possibly make and the smoothest FPS experience imaginable on that graphics engine. Then, when they thought to themselves, What will sell on the global video game market, which has become so indoctrinated with western ideas and values that they don't even know the name of their own capital anymore, but can name all 50 US states without hesitation, to which someone replied, Ooh, I know, how about another generic story about an American super soldier gunning down hundreds of soldiers indigenous to a country with which the United States has a shaky political relationship? Hoop a doop! To which the other gentleman then replied, Huzzah! How original! You deserve a raise! Raise is for everyone! You guys are German. How about making the lead character German? Or, fuck it, the whole team. After all, you are in NATO, and NATO is always mopping up America's overseas diarrhea-laden messes. The thought of a German team responding to a distress call from an American archaeological team is totally plausible. But no, let's not mess with the fucking mold in any fucking way. That would be too detrimental to North American sales. And there are so many companies that do exactly the same thing. Ignore their own rich cultural background when choosing a setting for their game for fear of losing out on the virtually assimilated global video game market. Some companies do take the risk of putting subtle hints to their origin into their games. I remember how stoked I was when I found out that DICE was actually putting the European Union, to which Sweden belongs, as a power block in Battlefield 2. I thought to myself, finally I don't have to play as an American all the fucking time. But as it turned out, the European Union was featured in very few maps. But hey, at least it wasn't the same monotonous repetition of AMERICA NEVER WIN! We gamers have become all too accustomed to. But what annoys me more than missed opportunities of getting a taste of the developer's own cultural heritage is when companies take someone else's and fail to do it justice. Take it from me. Having grown up with the stories of ancient Norse gods, their exploits, their betrayals, their all-around buffoonery, it physically hurts me when a studio makes a game that completely fails to portray the mythology in a proper light. Especially when that studio comes from a land that got its ass kicked by that culture so many times that they should have picked up a couple of details from the burning wrecks they used to call their homes and places of worship. I enjoy the sense of exploration I get from reading books. They tend to be firmly rooted in the author's cultural background. Turn a page and I'm standing in the middle of a British prep school with all the silly pomp and customs that come with it. But this one is full of magic. Lay that book down, pick up another one, and suddenly I'm pacing the streets of pre-Bolshevik Russia, going out of my mind because I just killed an old lady and her sister. Until developers start taking better care of their own cultural backgrounds, this medium will never be as powerful a cultural tool as it has the potential to be. And until such a time as that all changes, we as gamers are missing out on experiencing a world of creativity.